Hi, in this video I want to show you my new measuring cups and spoons. I just got these and I've washed them and I'm going to make biscuits. So they stack and they're together. You see this ring? So watch. Oh no, it's a mess. And then you can kind of just put them back together, which makes it really good for easy storage. So you get different sizes. You get one eighth of a cup, a quarter cup, a third of a cup, a half a cup, and a cup. And I bought these mainly because I like the way they look, I like the color, and I like that they stack. That is very, very important. And then you get these spoons, which also stack. So we get a quarter teaspoon, a half a teaspoon, one teaspoon, a half a tablespoon, and one tablespoon. So super, super useful. And you also get this nifty little funnel, which I don't think I'm going to use, but it's collapsible, so I can just kind of throw it in a drawer. And if I ever do need a funnel, I have one ready to go. All right, so let's go ahead and start the ingredients. So it says I need two cups of flour. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the cup measurement here to get some flour. So I'm gonna open my flour container. Actually, this is wet, so uh, I'm not gonna use this one. Well, why not? I have another one cup measurement, but let's see if it works okay. So we've got one. And we've got two, two heaping cups of flour. Very good. Two cups of flour. We need one tablespoon of baking powder. So baking powder I have over here. I'm gonna make olive oil biscuits. Okay, so there we go. That's probably a little bit too much. All right, and then we need two teaspoons of sugar. So very light on the sugar. So just a dash of sugar. So with two teaspoons. So the teaspoon is really, really small. Teaspoon is gonna be, that's a half teaspoon. There's one teaspoon there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it into the little container here. So two teaspoons, there's one, and two teaspoons of sugar. And then we need a half a cup of olive oil and a cup of milk. So I've got some olive oil here. We're gonna go with half a cup, which is this one here. And here it is, half a cup of olive oil, quite a bit of olive oil. So I'm not using any butter in this recipe. You see how nice it is to have these measuring spoons and cups? I've been wanting to make biscuits for a long time. That's why I bought these. I didn't have anything to measure with. I do have a one cup measurement thing in my flour container, but this is nice. And then we need one cup of milk. So let me grab some milk and we will be good to go. So you see how effective these are. Super useful for baking and cooking. These are called olive oil biscuits, by the way. So one cup. That's a little bit less than a cup. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more right there. I'll just pour it in. And that's it, right? Perfect. So now I can just whisk this up and I can make some biscuits. So I think if you're looking for measuring cups and spoons, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, as far as washing these, um, you can hand wash them. I'm assuming they're dishwasher safe. I'm not positive, but they probably are. Uh, I'm gonna be hand washing this stuff though. So yeah, and easy to put away for storage. Very happy with my purchase. I definitely recommend these. Good luck.